Good morning. We're going to find the arc length in chapter 6 here. It says, given a central angle of 128 degrees, find the length of the intercepted arc in a circle of radius 5 centimeters. I have everything drawn here, and I have this mysterious S right here. That is the arc length in the formula S equals R theta. Now, let's label this. Theta is the angle in radians. This is, of course, the radius of the circle. Let's put in radians there. And this is the arc length. The arc length would be like, you know, if you stretched string around that circle, how long would that string be? So that's what we're trying to find here. Now, I have the angle label, the radius label, the circle drawn. It's all good to go. I just need to convert 128 degrees to radians. So we'll put that over 1, and we know that if we're converting degrees to radians, we multiply by pi over 180, and this is going to reduce by the number 4. So that is going to go in there, would we say, 32 times, and this will be 45 times, and so this, this becomes 32 pi over 45. This would be um, the degree measure, 128 degrees in radians, because you got to convert that to radians in order to do this. So now, to finish this problem off, we start with our formula, r theta equals s. Well, we're finding s, so we don't know what that is. We know that our radius is 5 centimeters, so it's going to be 5 times 32 pi over 45. 32 pi over 45. And you could you could cancel this right here. You know, you could make this. Let me show you that. You could cancel this and make this a 1 and that a 9 if you wanted to. You don't have to, so let me back that out. What I would do on a problem like this is just take 5 times 32 times pi, hit equals, and divide that whole thing by 45. And if you do, your answer should be somewhere around 11.2-ish centimeters. So this arc length, this distance here, is 11.2 centimeters long. Now there are other types of problems where it asks you, maybe it'll give you the arc length, and the angle, and then I'll ask you to solve for the radius. Well, if you do that, you do this the same way. It's just uh, you know a question of manipulating this new equation here. So finding the arc length, have a good one.